the man can lower the woman. She can trick him more. But if the man fears Allah and lowers his gaze, he can focus. And they say that in school, because I'm a teacher, they say that when they did a study on education, a class that's mixed with boys and girls, a class that's mixed with boys and girls, they found that the boys did, um, they, were, they, they, um, they were more distracted because they were ashamed. They were shy of the girls. So they were thinking, what's the girl thinking about me? Another study did show that the girls were more distracted because they wanted the, the attention of the boys. And they say that the study showed the boys were affected by the girls' distractions more than what the girls were, more than what the girls were affected by the boys' distractions, by their luring. And it showed that the girls loved the attention and they could get it very easily. Uh, there was a boy who I was counseling and he said, uh, a young Muslim boy, he said, I, you know, unfortunately I've gone into haram. I said, what's the haram? He said, now I have a girlfriend. I said, have you done anything? He said, no, alhamdulillah, I haven't done anything major but minor. I said, you have to make your choice, akhi. And I gave him a bit of a da'wah and in the end he sat with the girl and said to her, Muslim sister, subhanAllah, he said to her, it's off for the sake of Allah. And if we really want each other, inshallah, in the future we'll get married. She started to cry and bawl her eyes out. He came back to me and he said, after a week, he said, I'm back with her. I said, why? He said, she cried. I said, so what if she cried? They're always going to cry. He goes, but she cried really bad. And, and I felt really bad. I said, subhanallah, how weak we men are. A few tears make you, lured, lured you back. And alhamdulillah, after that, he did become stronger. And alhamdulillah, they cut off that relationship. Many others like that. Uh, a woman once uh, went to the court, uh, this is in the past Muslim world, and, he, and she complained about her husband wanting to divorce him. And she said, my husband is this and that and that. The judge said to her, I will only divorce him from you. This is a true story, but it's quite humorous. He said, I'll only divorce him from you if you can do one thing. She said, what? He said, you have to get me the hair of a lion. She goes, to divorce him, to get him out of my misery? Okay, I'll get you the hair of a lion. So she went and found where there was a lion and she began to trick the lion. Every day she'd feed him a bit, feed him a bit, feed him a bit until the lion was so full. And the lion became so full to the point where he didn't want to eat anything else. So when he became really lazy, she came closer to him and closer to him. When she started seeing that the lion wasn't eating any more meat, she came close enough to him and he didn't care less that she was next to him and took the hair off the chest of the lion. She brought the hair to the judge and said, here it is, now divorce me from my husband. He said, subhanAllah, you could play a trick on the lion, but you couldn't play tricks on your husband to try and lure him towards you. <laughs> you know, he did this and that. I to do something about it. Look what you did to the lion. So, <laughs> subhanAllah, we can prolong our marriages, inshallah, in this sense. And I think that a woman can play a better role, inshallah, in luring her husband to her and winning the best of him. You know, in the Western world they say, and I don't say this is what you have to do, but just as an example, the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So feed him and get to his stomach. This is one way for some men. So find out and do so. So the woman, she said, what is the punishment of a person who seduces your wife except that a terrible punishment or imprisonment? So now they took him before to be tried. And Allah says in the Quran, that Yusuf السلام, had to spell out the truth. He said, She is the one that seduced me. So that's when he was put to trial. Okay, there's a difference here. 